Jose Quintero, and I am from Oakland Charter High School, and my mentor was Casey Meeker, and we were part of the Comey Group. So over the course of four weeks, I have, been, I have become familiar with atomic force microscopy and scanning tunneling microscopy. So under the time limit, about 15, hopefully we will all share the passion for these two great methods of scanning. <laughs> so first off, you're probably wondering, what is AFM? Well, essentially, this is when a cantilever tip is brought to the proximity of a sample surface, and forces due to Hooke's law leads to a cantilever's deflection. An easier way of thinking about this is, like, does everyone know here what Braille is? Yes. yes? Okay. So, imagine you taking your finger and scanning over each Braille letter. As your finger goes over each little dot, um, you can feel the texture and the structure of each sample, and this is what AFM is. STM. So this is when a tip scans a sample surface at a certain distance and allows the sample structure to be known. So what this is, is we have a tip and we are essentially just scanning right over the sample surface and as we go over or as the electrons jump from the tip onto the surface, we can know how high or how wide the sample is. So here we have the atomic force microscope. This is like the general one. In our lab, we have a different one, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So here we have a light source, and as you can see, here is our cantilever, and that's our tip. And so essentially, the laser beams into the top of the surface, and we read this deflection as the, the laser spot on top of it. It is read by this photo detector, which is collected, which um, uses photodiodes that um, collect, that convert current or convert light into current or voltage. <clears throat> and here is our scanning tunneling microscope. As you can see here, we have our tip, and as it scans over, the electrons can jump, and depending on how easy or how hard it is for electrons to jump onto the surface, we can know the structure of, of the sample. So my experiment, so I taught you about, well someone taught you, about <laughs> STM and AFM. So what I did was to construct a Q-tip that would test tips before placing them in an STM and AFM. So here we have a Q-plus sensor. As you can see here, we have our little tip and we have our piezoelectric material, the quartz tuning fork. And we etch silver tips for the STM. As I said earlier, our, our AFM is different from the one before it because because we don't wait, it show up. Uh, because we don't use a laser. Instead, we use the piezo, which um, detects the deflection by the, by electricity. Okay. So Q-tip tester. Uh, Q-tip stands for Q plus testing and instrumental platform. So it's a combination of a circuit and a platform. So essentially what we do, we have a platform, we put the Q plus on top of it, and there are three signals that come out of it, the AFM, the STM, and the ground. And, but in our experiment, we're just testing the AFM, so we're testing AFM tips. <coughs> and these three connections go inside our breadboard, which consists of an op amp, and the tip creates a, sig a signal that oscillates, and it goes in 